Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing one of my favorite type of videos. I'm going to show you how I transform these two beautiful pieces into a farmhouse style, rustic and distressed pieces of furniture. So if you're interested in seeing how I transform these, please keep watching. I'm also going to show you how I stage them to give you some ideas. <laughs> So the first thing I do with any furniture makeover project is that I verify if there is any major repairs that need to be done and if the drawers are working um, properly and then I would just remove all of the hardware and set them aside. If I'm using the same hardware I just like to wipe them down or wash them with uh, some TSP solution or just soap and water and then uh, I keep them aside uh, to use after everything is done with the project. If not, sometimes I would just reuse the same um, hardware but I would just give them a fresh coat of paint or just spray paint them to match with the new look that I'm trying to achieve. Um, so here I'm just taking my time to remove all of the hardware and then I'm gonna wipe this piece down and get it ready to be transformed. Here the paint that I'm using is from Benjamin Moore and it's a bright white a paint and it's um, an interior uh, paint that I'm using for this project and I'm just using a 2 inch uh, flat brush and I usually like to spray paint uh, my projects but because it's early on in the season I'm not yet set up for the, for the spray paint yet so I'm just going to do this by hand and then later on you're going to see me uh, when I upload more uh, furniture um, makeover videos I'll be using my um, electric uh, paint uh, paint gun because I don't actually own a, a paint gun that's done by air so I'll be using uh, my electric one for my projects so as you can see this is how it looks once the first coat is done and definitely you would need at least two or three coats to make sure everything looks good so I'll be fast forwarding this part because I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me paint this whole thing but I'm going to show you how everything looks at the end and I'll be distressing this piece as well and I'll show you how I stage it. I usually would like to place uh, these uh, pieces of furniture on a raised surface so that I can get properly the bottom of the pieces but here as you can see uh, I did this project when my deck um, was not completely stained yet and it wasn't uh, the work wasn't done yet so I wasn't worried about getting uh, a bit of paint onto my deck because it would be sanded down anyways so that's why um, I did it this way if not I would have the surface protected with a piece of tarp or um, a piece of paper underneath so that I don't uh, mess the area that I'm working in. This project is really simple. I just wanted all of it to be in this bright white color. So I'm just gonna paint it um, and do the drawers as well as the, um, the bottom of it, everything in white, and then I'll be distressing it. After the paint had the time to dry, I'm just using a sandpaper that I usually get from Dollar Tree and I'm just sanding some areas just to give that rustic and farmhouse finish that I was looking for and um, that way if any of the paint were to chip along, this, uh, along the, the way it would look just normal. When it comes to uh, spray painting hardwares of uh, furniture pieces, I like to uh, just poke them in a piece of cardboard so that they're uh, standing straight and that way I'm, I make sure to get all of the sides. Here I'm just using this Rust-Oleum uh, spray paint in black and I'm just going to uh, give a few coats of it to make sure that everything is completely covered and then I'm going to let everything dry before I attach it to the piece. Now, once I've done um, distressing the furniture, I usually like to apply a top coat of uh, 
uh, polyurethane just to make sure that um, the surface is protected especially on the top where you would normally uh, put objects or where it would be used most uh, and I just want to make sure that everything is uh, good to go so I'll be applying at least one or two coats of the, the top coat here. Once everything is dry and ready to go, I just bring the piece uh, into the house and I assemble all of the hardware before I get it ready to be staged. I usually, um, if these uh, piece of furniture um, that I uh, repurpose or that I give a makeover to, uh, I usually don't use them in my house because of the lack of space. Um, I usually just resell them and it's actually something that I really love to do because I like to see the transformation of the projects that I work on and to see when people uh, go with it and enjoy um, the piece that I worked on. It re it's really a, a good feeling for me so I enjoy doing this a lot. So before taking pictures to sell these items that I uh, refinish, I like to stage them. So here I'm just placing this beautiful uh, tablecloth that I got from Michaels a while back. I love the colors and I'll be placing some little ornaments. I didn't want to make this piece too crowded, but here the tulips looks perfect against the pink color of the, uh, the tablecloth as well as this uh, little silver color bird that I think looks amazing. So you guys, this is how the project or the piece of furniture looked before I tackled it and I refinished it and this is how it looks after everything was done. I think it looks super gorgeous and it ties in with the farmhouse look that I wanted to achieve. I love the distressed look as well as the updated hardware on this project. Please leave this video a thumbs up if you like this transformation and let's move on to the next one. If you are joining the DIY residence for the first time, then welcome! I upload new videos every week and I share the many DIY projects that I do in hopes to inspire others to do crafts. So if this is something that interests you, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss on any of my future projects. The next project that I'm working on is this beautiful antique sewing machine cabinet that I found on a curbside and I really wanted to uh, transform this piece and I thought it was unfortunate that someone would just throw such a beautiful piece but you can see the top of this piece was pretty uh, messed up. I tried to remove some of the wood particles on the top and I tried to sand it down but as you can see uh, you can also see the damaged area so I'm using some um, wood filler here and then I wanted to let it dry sand it before I started painting but later on you're going to see me just remove this uh, top completely and I have another idea for that so please keep watching till the end you're going to see how I transform and what I've used um, to replace the top of this uh, that this piece and I think it even looks much better at the end. So as with any projects, as you can see, while uh, the wood filler was drying, I just wanted to go ahead and remove the hardware right there. And here the drawer can open. As you can see, this is so sewing machine. So you have all of the little uh, components in, inside that you can uh, put your uh, thread and anything related to sewing. I found this super cute. And here again, I'm just using a knife to remove the the screws um, but for sure if you tackle a project like this I would recommend using a screwdriver to do this um, and to be careful with what you do so again I'm just going to remove all of the hardware wipe this piece down and I'll be using the same white um, interior paint by Benjamin Moore for this piece This is how the piece looks after one coat of paint and I'll be applying a total of uh, two to three coats just to make sure I have a good coverage and to make sure that everything looks crisp and beautiful.
for the for the top of this piece I found this uh, wood uh, piece in my stash of wood um, in my house and I wanted to use this uh, piece to replace the top of this furniture so because I removed the top before painting I'm just going to place it on top and just trace um, it on the wood piece that I have to, so then I'll be using a jigsaw and then I'll be cutting the shape and then I'll be sanding it before I attach to my piece. So here I'll be applying the last coat, which is the third coat that I'll be applying on this project. And here I have my little helper that wants to help me paint as well. Just uh, being curious at their age and want to experience, experiment and new things to do. Uh, so I think he was definitely doing a good job, but I'll be continuing the rest of the piece. And I'm going to do um, the last coat here. So after cutting this piece of wood uh, using my jigsaw, uh, you can see that uh, the edges are a bit rough. So I'm going to use uh, my sander and just uh, sand all of the sides as well as the whole piece here. And then I'll be applying a top coat of polyurethane and then I'll be attaching it to my um, sewing machine uh, uh, furniture or sewing machine cabinet. So you're going to see um, once I'm done sanding this piece, how I attach it to my final project. After I was done screwing the top together, I took this uh, sandpaper and I slightly just distressed this whole piece just to give it that a rustic farmhouse finish that I really enjoy. And I think the distressing made this furniture, this piece of furniture look even better. So I can't wait to show you how everything looks like. So if we go back, this is the a piece of furniture uh, that I was working with, this washstand as well as this antique sewing machine cabinet and this is how they turned out once I've, since I was done uh, re-transforming them and here they are. I think they look super cute and I love the new look that they got. Please let me know how you thought uh, these piece of furniture turned out and as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.